let's clear our terminal and now let's cd to home directory of the user. And now let's list files and folders here. For that there is command ls that stands for list. And here I see such directories as applications, documents, library and so on. On Windows of course you'll see other folders. And here I see such folder as desktop and I could cd to desktop. Like that. Notice that you could use tab in order to autocomplete command names or folder names for example. Now I'm on the desktop and if I type pwd I'll see path slash users slash Bogdan slash desktop. Now if I decide to go for example to documents folder I could use such syntax as cd two dots because I want to go one level up to the parent directory and here after slash type documents. Now I could press tab in order to autocomplete directory name. And after I press enter, I will be placed in the documents directory. Here I could list files and folders by entering ls command and I see empty output and it means that there are no files and folders in the documents directory. Also you could use absolute path in order to move to specific directory. For example, I could take this path slash users slash Bogdan, this absolute path, copy it and if I type cd and paste users Bogdan, I will go to the home directory of current user because I just used absolute path and it doesn't matter which working directory you are currently in. If you cd to absolute path, you will be go there independent of the current working directory. When I used cd desktop here, I used actually relative path. And if I, for example, go to root directory like that and attempt to cd to desktop here like that, I'll see no such file or directory. Because there is no desktop directory in the root directory. If I type ls here, I'll see which directories are present in the root directory. And I see such subdirectories as applications, library and system. 